No harm, you're trying to fit on. I feel like I love way I'm a Chamberlain. I wish someone had it told me. That okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I decided to do, originally I was going to do uh, get ready with me and just do my makeup. But then I thought, you know what, why not throw on some unpopular opinions? Because I literally love watching unpopular opinion videos. Anyway, right, so as I was saying, they literally trigger me so much. I'd be like, how can this person think like this? I was like, how I could come up with a few of my own. So that's exactly what I did. So what I'm going to be doing is going to be doing my makeup, blah, blah, blah. You know what, anyway, let's get into the video. So I've actually wrote them down on my phone because there's just too much for my brain to comprehend. Um, so, right, so what I have decided to do is I've just done my eyebrows off camera because they take so, they don't take me so long, but I know that I would sit here and talk and not even do my eyebrows and then, I wouldn't even have my makeup done. So I've done that now and let's just get under the unpopular opinions. Oh my God, it's 9,000 degrees in this room. And anyway, I that's so irrelevant, doesn't really matter. And anyway, first one, cats over dogs. A lot of people, like I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but a lot of people seem to have this really big hatred for cats. And I'm like, fair enough if you've been attacked or you've a bad experience with a cat, right? I 100% understand why then you don't like cats. But see people who just say, no, oh my God, I hate cats. Hate cats so much, I hate cats. And I'm like, why? And they're just like, no, just don't like them. Hate them so much, hit them, I hit them, I hit them. And I'm like, no harm, you're trying to fit on. It seems to be like a universal thing that like you just automatically hit cats. I love both, but like when you train them upright, not train them upright, but people say a cat is a reflection of the owner, but like 100% get where you're coming from. If you say, I don't like cats, I had a bad experience with one, I got my head bit off, scratched my face. That is so understandable. But see if you just come at me and say, I hate cats and don't have a reason. Shut up, you're literally just trying to fit on with the rest of people that just say they hate cats. You have to have a reason, do you know what I mean? I just can't say, I hate brown sauce. You just say, I don't like it because I've tried it and I don't like it, do you know what I mean? Why the fuck am I sitting here talking about brown sauce? Go on, actually, shut up. You can't just say, I hate a cat, when you haven't even experienced a cat. You know what? Rant over. Wow, that really got me going. Sorry about that. What am I not like? Right, the next one is a bit controversial because there was a video just released, but I absolutely hate Shane Dawson. His time has finally come. Basically, he's over. He's a piece of shit. And I'm not going to lie, anytime I watched any of Jeffrey's videos, and he was in them, it automatically made me angry. I just knew, obviously, so much controversy around him, like the things they've done in the past. So now he's finally being caught blood about it, and I'm so glad. So, number three. Now, this is a bit of um, a mixed opinion one. I love TikTok. My screen time is through the roof. In fairness, I hated TikTok. See, in September of last year, I absolutely hated TikTok. Chloe would always play the videos and they would actually annoy me so much. Or why do I keep hearing these songs? Like, and it got to that point then, I was like, right, I'll download it. Cause she would show me funny videos and I was like, right, downloaded it and then did like them. I had to make an account. So I was like, right, I'll make an account. And now I'm addicted. I really want to live in the hype house. And that's just at really hype house. I literally am available anytime to come over and make TikToks if he's want. I Cut me up. Number four. This is a mixed one as well. Like, you know, you either love them or you hate them. I'm just gonna say it. If no one else is gonna say it, this is the Kardashians world and we are all just loving on it. I don't care if you disagree. I know myself it's true. They are just different levels. They don't have any worries. That's probably really bad to say because they obviously do, but you know what I mean? They don't have any like real worries. Money can't buy happiness and all that, but can buy a lot of things. It's literally in the middle of a global pandemic. Half a million people have died. Kanye tweeted the other day saying, I'm so proud of my wife, Kim Kardashian, for finally becoming a billionaire. The world is giving you good things and stuff. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't give a fuck. And then she tweeted, been like, oh, North's seventh birthday in Wyoming. This is a picture of North and her Phoenician black, I don't even know if it's Phoenician, it starts with F and I. We have 14 black horses on the ranch. And then she went on, they put up pictures of their go-kart track on the ranch. And I was like, these people just don't care. And you know what? I love it. I would literally drop anything to become a part of that family. I would drop out of uni to go over and be their nanny. Okay, so the next one as well, as a bit of a controversy. Not a controversy, I'm not even talking about it. No one cares about this. I'm calling it a controversy. I love to have two followers. What was I going to say again? Oh, I, so it's not hypocritical anymore of me to say because I don't do it anymore. Naps are bad for us. Yeah, I said it. Don't come for me. I would not have been saying this three years ago. See, when I was in school, as soon as I came home from school, I was up upstairs and in my bed for two hours at least. I just couldn't go a day without a nap. At the time, it's all fine and dandy. You go to sleep and you wake up and you don't know if it's the next day. You don't know where you are, what time it is. And then once you sleep then during the day, you can't sleep then at night. Well, I used to be like that. I'm not like that anymore because. I just don't nap anymore. You know what? I feel so much better. I used to nap all the time and then after school I would wake up at like 6 or 7 o'clock. just ruins the whole cycle. I could not tell you the last time I took a nap during the day. Don't know if that's an unpopular opinion. Like, I reckon it would be. Right. Number 6 as well. It's a bit of a love hit one. I'm sorry, right? I know a lot of people hated it but 
Too Hot to Handle on Netflix was amazing. It was literally so funny. But I feel like it was one of them ones where it was so bad that it was good. It was so, I don't know what the words are. Whenever I was watching it, it was so stupid, but I watched the whole series one day and I just couldn't get enough. Followed every single one of the people, maybe not every single one of them, but definitely followed her and Francesca. I could not get enough. Now I kind of take a bat whenever like I talk to people about it and they're like, no, that was awful. And I'm like, no, but you're not seeing through it. Um, right, that's the end of that. Right, the next one. This is actually the seventh one. I literally have done one thing. I'm gonna shut up. Where's my foundation? This next one, no. I know it's my unpopular opinion. Don't know how to explain why I just don't like this person. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Hayley Baldwin, as in a uh, Hayley Bieber, whatever you wanna call her. I just don't know what it is. I just can't put my finger on it. Oh shit, my camera's gonna die. I just don't know. Sorry about that. My camera was dying. Let's get back into it. Let's just talk. I honestly do not know what it is. She just doesn't do it for me. There's something. I'm not gonna lie, she is stunning. I've never seen someone that looks like her apart from Gigi Hadid, Bella Hadid, and Madison Beer. But I don't know what it is, but she's not us. I'm sorry. I wish I knew so I could tell you, but I don't know. Because I don't know her. Like, I don't know her as a person. Obviously, she is overrated, and I, that's basically it. <laughs> now, we're gonna start talking about more serious food. The do's and don'ts of food. Um, I, let's talk about all the foods that I don't agree with. If you put your red sauce ketchup in the fridge, you are a serial killer. Red sauce does not belong in the fridge. It belongs in a cupboard. Uh, that's basically it. Another thing, which is a bit hypocritical of me, but I'm old now. I'm more mature. Grown out of me old ways. Orange juice was but What? Orange juice is so much nicer. Butts on it. Why is my camera going to die again? My camera's acting really, really strange and I'm honestly really sorry for it, but back to the food. Orange juice is so much nicer with butts. Anyone that likes it with without butts, I know exactly where you're coming from. I was the exact same. Whenever I was like 12, like literally grew up, be mature, so much nicer. Also, there's actually something wrong with your head if you put chocolate in the fridge. My own, my own mother puts chocolate in the fridge. Sometimes, no, no. she even goes as far as they put it in the free. So what happened was, I was originally recording this on my camera <clears throat> and it started to act really weird and like I said it needed charge when it was like fully charged so I was halfway through talking and it literally just cut off. So then I had to start using my phone because I just was not actually sitting with for it to charge. So that's why the picture gets, it actually gets a bit clearer like my camera, my phone had better quality than the camera but I just forget about that. Um, I So that's why I'm kind of all, I don't really know what's going, I don't really know what's going on but just ignore it. Anyway, I had to go on and just do my fist because I wasn't waiting for my camera to charge. Waited like 10 minutes and it was in charge and it's not even turning on now, so that's amazing. As I was saying before, I got rudely cut off. My mommy even goes a step further. It's chocolate and the freezer. I know, it's strange, weird behaviour. Maybe it's a Scottish thing, I really don't know. Who puts, who in the hell put the chocolate in the freezer? That is honestly really, really, really strange. Right. So we have four left, four left. How's that bathroom door open? Wash my hands, my bad, right? Anyway, go and shut up. Right, I don't even have my makeup done. I am honestly a joke, let's go. So the next one is a but I don't actually know myself, like, I don't have a wide lot of explanations for this. Well, I do have this one. The beach is overrated. Oh, I just don't like the beach. It's not like I don't like the sand or like I'm not that type of person. It's like, no, I don't like my sand on the feet. Like I don't mind it. I don't mind like sand and stuff. On holidays, I don't mind the beach, but I don't go in the water. I don't go near the water. You get the best time whenever you're sunbathing at the beach, but the sand, whenever you get your oil on and you put your feet in the sand, touch it and you have no water. It's just not fun. See if you just get a sun lounger stay there for like six hours don't move which is highly unlikely then don't mind it but see like beaches like back home when it's cold one day it's just not enjoyable at all unless it's in the maldives it's not beaches aren't fun they're good for a tan i'm just saying just saying i'm 11 so shut the fuck up going myself juicy styles you know what i mean so anyway let's keep moving swiftly on here and i speed up my makeup because i literally knew this was going to happen at the start of the video i was just going to talk and not even do my makeup and then just talk too much and then i wouldn't have my makeup done i get really paranoid whenever i do my blusher because you have to be like oh my god stop looking at me ah! like, do you not hit whenever like you're getting your makeup done and they're doing blush and they're like smile it's so awkward you're sitting there like like how do you smile so this is a Crayola. Actually, what am I doing? I need to do the unpopular opinion. This is what I mean. Like, I don't have the attention. 
this is why my videos are so shit. Like I just don't have the attention span to do stuff like this. I, I beach is overrated. That's what I was saying. Um, the next one, uni is a scam by the government. I don't care if I sound paranoid because it's a hundred percent true. See uni, it's the biggest pile of shit that I've ever, ever, ever come across in my life. Fair enough if you're being a doctor or a surgeon. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to go to uni, obviously. If I have to get like a heart transplant or something, you would hope that they had a degree like, do you know what I mean? Say for the likes of business. I actually don't know. It's just a money scam. Did you see what I did there? It's a scam. It is so pointless. I personally think as well that uni isn't going to be a big thing like what it is now in the future. We're like programmed, I think. You go to school, you go to uni, you get a job. Like that's the way you have to do it. I really don't agree with that. I think that schools need to be more, wow, listen to me. What's the word? Schools need to tell their students there's more to life than not going to uni. I wish someone had it told me. See, when I was in sick for, I thought we had to go to uni. I literally thought that uni was not optional. I didn't know until I was at uni and I had no other option that I could have chose not to go to uni. Like, I don't know if that's just me being stupid or if I'm just not tuned on. I, I thought that uni was like a thing that you had to do like school and it's literally not annoying. I am in so much debt because I thought that uni was a thing that you have to do. Maybe I'll be uh, like a counsellor in like schools. Absolutely not. I don't know why I just said that. Uni's a pile of shit and I think it is a scam. All together, 27 grand. That's 30 grand a debt. And I've absolutely nothing to show for it. If my wings don't want to go to uni, they'll not be going to uni. I don't actually know if this is an unpopular opinion or not. Second last one now because I feel like this video is going to be three hours long. Chocolate ice cream needs to go. See Ben and Jerry's fish food. DISGUSTING! It's like mushrooms. Who even likes mushrooms? Why are mushrooms even a thing? It tastes like soggy toes. Like actually, I love food. Anyone knows me knows that I love food. I would try anything. Mushrooms and chocolate ice cream need to disappear up under that sky. Runt over. My bottom eyelashes are like freakishly long. Right, so see at this point, I feel like I love way Emma Chamberlain and that might sound weird. We moved under our apartment, right? May as well be loving alone. Holly is back home. Chloe more or less loves in her boyfriend's house. I feel like I love way Emma Chamberlain because I just put her podcast on. Like I feel like she's talking to me and I'd be like, oh my god, I like not replying out loud like in my head. Anyway, I just thought I would get that off my chest. The last one as well, I feel is gonna cause a bit of mixed opinion. Well, not a mixed opinion because who the hell is gonna be talking about this video? So the final unpopular opinion, I don't think that OJ did it. I watched the documentary, but I, it was so long ago that I can't like, maybe I shouldn't need eyebrow pencils or lip liner. I watched the documentary like ages ago, like I'm not joking, way over a year ago. I loved that and fit. That's the only thing that I remember on my head. But then why did he run away? So on in my head just tells me that he doesn't do it. And I usually have like good sex sense and stuff. But I really, really, really honestly don't think that OJ did it. I just can't explain myself. Please don't shout at me. I, just, I really don't think he did. But then Rob Kardashian apparently, like apparently he felt so guilty because like it was his best friend, but he, he knew himself that he'd done it. They were his lawyers. I think it's still on Netflix. I actually might rewatch it. And in the documentary, they sit down and ask him, like, did you do it? And he said, no. But then the Louis Vuitton, like, garment bag and all, he carried it in straight in front of the police. So I remember watching the documentary and I was like, I don't think he'd done it. And anyone that I say this to, if I have a conversation with anyone about that documentary, they say, you're mad, like, he did do it. I don't know, there's just something telling me that I don't think that he done it. Am I like, am I just being naive? I honestly don't know. Really don't think that he done it. I really shouldn't use eyebrow pencil for lip liner, but you know what? Who cares? I honestly like really, really don't think he done it. But then at the same time, I see, I just don't know. I have just so many questions that I need answers to. And you know what? I'm probably never gonna get them. I'm actually quite impressed that I done my makeup in the space of time that it took me to say all these unpopular opinions. Oh, well enough. Um, it was quite a last minute video as usual. And my video was not last minute, but I, anyway. If you haven't watched the OJ Simpson documentary, go and watch it. It is so worth watching. That was basically it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, all the usual stuff. That's it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.